So let me show you just how cool it is here. frozen waterfall we go here like every year it's just really cool but this year we have a drone so I'm gonna get some different kind of shots drones are actually working minus 30 which is impressive things a beast it's not warm today <laughs> especially in the shade you know minus 30 I don't know what it is in the shade not nice that's for sure got the proper attire I also can't see because my gloves are fogging up. Yes, we are quite bundled today. This epic hat. Two pairs of gloves. This this park, actually when we have a long sleeve wool sweater on, on underneath of this jacket. This jacket's insane. Baffin boots and fleece lined pants. Yep. Have to come prepared in these temperatures. I'm actually really warm. <laughs> I'm not cold at all. Every time that it gets super cold, my hair just like freezes. It's really annoying because I can't like move it because it's just like a weird chunk. But yeah. If you've never been in temperatures this cold, when you breathe in, your like nose freezes on you. Like your like nostrils, like the hairs and stuff will like freeze. Yeah, and your lungs hurt. Yeah, and it's like the most bizarre sensation. Like it kind of tickles your nose a bit. It's weird. That's why I've got this over my mouth. Yeah. Yes, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey look, a cute dog. Hi, how's it going? Yeah, good girl. So these ice falls, they're not like an actual waterfall. Like in summer, if you came here, it's just like a trickle of water. In the winter time, it slowly trickles down, and then the changing temperatures, it, Warms up, melts, freezes, and it creates these ice falls. So yeah, if you came here in summer, there's actually nothing. Yeah, maybe like a wet rock. Yeah, wet rock. Yeah, but it's really pretty in the winter. Yeah. Get your trickling underneath where it's warm enough for it still to be running and in the sun it's like dripping a bit yeah up top it's pretty cool you have to be careful though in warmer temperatures because if you're standing here you'll get a nice chunk of ice on your head yeah when it starts to fall apart so if you don't know in extreme cold things crack like houses like the other night we were in my dad's house and just like boom like yeah because the wood will like the wood crash yeah it'll like expand and contract yeah. with the the heat temperature and so yeah we were we woke up in the middle of the night to the loudest <laughs> crack like i wouldn't have been surprised if there was a giant crack in the wall no yeah this is cracking everything cracks the vehicle 
There's some weird noises and things. It's like a slide. <laughs> this is easier. No slipping. Tonight it's supposed to be minus 37 with a wind chill of minus 40. This, I'll show you what it was this morning. It was god awful. This stuff really foams. I didn't know how much it foamed. Hmm. Maybe it's the stuff they put in it for winter. Oh, maybe. So it doesn't freeze. It's now uh, 4.30. Completely. It's pretty dark. Pretty dark. We're gonna head up. We're gonna buy some taco stuff. And then... We need to fill up our diesel. And then... Off to the campsite. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why I filled a gas can with diesel, I cannot find a 10 liter diesel can. I don't even know if they exist. But I can't fit 20 liters anywhere and five liters is just too small because that thing on the end of the pump is too long to go into a five liter can so I had to buy a gas can found our campsite. It's going to be minus 37. There's a certain point when it's so cold that it turns warm again. So that point is usually around minus 40. So it's just so cold you become numb. And it's like... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel as cold as it should. No. you got to be careful. Because obviously it's very cold and you can get frostbite. But don't worry, we're... We're prepared. Ridiculously prepared. Yeah. I just tried to track this down a bit so in case we have to bail, I don't get stuck. There's a lot of stars out. Is it clear? Yeah. When you turn off the light bar, I could see them. Okay, cool. Try and get a time lapse of the truck and the stars. Yeah. And I'm going to put the temperature sensor, actually. I'm going to put it right here. So tonight, um, if you're not familiar with the ridiculously, moronically cold temperatures of Canada, um, in these temperatures, you plug in your vehicle, there's a block heater, and that allows you to start your vehicle without catastrophically destroying your vehicle. What happened to this exact truck that we bought, it actually, like, we have 122,000 kilometers, but this engine only has 85 or 90 on it. Because before we bought this truck, somebody turned it on in minus 40 without it being plugged in. And what happened is some stuff literally like broke. Yeah, like bolts broke and off, stuff yeah. broke off, went down into the cylinders and shredded the entire engine. Mm -hmm. They had to completely, the guy traded it in, re they replaced the entire engine, and that's when we bought it. Mm -hmm. What I have to do tonight is I have to come out every probably two hours and start the truck and idle it for 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah just keep minutes. the engine warm. Yeah, yeah. so it'll be, because like if it's been running now for a bit, if I turn it off it should be fine for like two, three hours. Yeah. And turn it on again, and then you have to idle it, and that's where the block heater comes in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it'd be <laughs> so nice. you don't have to get up in the middle of the night. It's too bad. Our setup, we only have a 1,000 watt inverter. If we had a 2,000 watt inverter, we could plug in to the back yeah. of our house battery. So it's... It would drain uh, our battery pretty fast, though. Yeah, it would. It's like 1,800 watts. Yeah. But it's really too bad. Well, uh, it's not cold in here. It's 21 Celsius already. Holy moly. I wonder what our temp gauge says on the picnic table. Let's take a look. 
Minus 37. Oh, I dropped something everywhere. It looks like black pepper. No, it's tea. <laughs> it's tea. It actually smells pretty good. I don't know where that came from. That's a little weird. Tacos in the rice cooker. We'll see how this goes. We're just gonna make some bean tacos though. We're not gonna make anything super fancy. So it should be, should be good. I know you want some of this, B. I'll give you a piece, just give me a sec. So we're making walnut black bean tacos. I just need to crush some of these. For the spices, we have some ancho chili pepper. This is my absolute favorite for tacos and chilies. It is so good. Onion, we're being a little lazy not using. Real onion. <laughs> and real garlic. Yeah. But I mean. Oh well. And cumin. Oh, a little veggie broth. Cumin. Just mix this up. My feet are on fire. I gotta, I gotta move that. Oh my. So I think we've actually. I'm just trying to crush the beans a little too. Usually we use lentils with the walnuts. Mm. So we're, we've broken up. We've broken down. Like, we can't take this. It's too bad we gotta run the heater on hot. We're opening the window. I don't know if this will open. Might be frozen shut. Oh. Okay, there. Some relief. It's just too hot. What, what's the temp now? It's minus 38 Celsius. And I'm opening the window. Like. <laughs> it's so hot. Oh my gosh. I'm not, I'm not even trying to sound like over the top or anything. Like, I truly am boiling to death. 30 Celsius in here. And minus 38 outside. I honestly didn't expect this diesel heater to keep up with this cold. Yeah. Like, I know the high power is high, but, like, it's actually insane. Okay. I was actually thinking of, just for video's sake, I was going to take our two burner like gas camping stove and cook outside just as a joke uh, but we didn't have any gas which is too bad because it would have uh, charred up a lot nicer because it, you know it's it's pretty much just gonna get hot it's not gonna get like nice and I like it kind of crispy I guess we can put it on bake yeah for Maybe it only really needs to get hot. So. 35 minutes? Sure, why not? Oops. Oh yeah, it's cooled down a little bit. Yeah. Now. Thank God. The ice falls we went to earlier, they're, they're amazing every year, you know? You go there, it's like, wow, this is so cool. It's crazy to think, like, you would think if it's below zero, it wouldn't trickle at all. But it was minus 30, what, three out there today? Minus 30, and you can still hear the water running underneath the ice. Yeah, and like the sun can just warm things up yeah. so much that it was actually like kind of melting a little bit up yeah. top. It was kind of cool. It's just crazy though, because it's like, you just wouldn't think there's any running water in that temperature. I guess. Those ice falls are just so, whoops, the shoes falling on me. Yeah, we usually put our shoes under there, but um, 
doggies in the way, so <laughs> just shove them there. Wow, beautiful. Tacos made in a rice cooker. <laughs> a little warm. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Walnuts good? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll have to make myself one and see. We didn't have a regular bowl. We forgot it. Yeah, I left it in the truck. I'm not going in there right now. You know, it's actually like kind of uh, refreshing going out there. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's so hot in here. What is hanging out there? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the headlamp. Where is that? That was cool. Never gets old. No. <laughs> Look at its steam. I know. Oh, hello puppy dog. Oh, puppy dog. So it's bedtime now. And we kept... We only used the double fold, so that part is actually like completely open down there. Yeah. Okay, um, we can let in as much of the heat as possible up into here. Yeah. Not that we need it, but I don't want it to get trapped down there and then just like keep heating down there for no reason. Yeah, we're gonna be waking up quite a lot. I have to go start the truck. I have to fill up the diesel. Yeah, definitely not gonna be a lot of sleep. <laughs> oh well. Ah, uh, we were pretty low. Yeah. I figured we would be. I'm very glad I, I bought that electric pump for the jerry can, because holy moly. Yeah, it just makes things a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Aspen's laying on my... Winter jackets. I'm <laughs> wearing this blanket instead. <laughs> oh, it is not too warm out there. Quickly now. Don't want to Traveling from the deep forest into the sun. How do you feel about tea with tea bag in? <laughs> Thank you. Is it hot? Uh, probably, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna let it cool down. Okay. <laughs> it, seems, it seems pretty hot. It's actually warmed up a lot this morning. It's only minus 24. Yeah, it's clouded over quite a bit. And yeah, it, it even snowed a little. Oh, it did it? Yeah, it did. Okay, yeah. Well, as soon as the snow comes, it's just like heat. It's insulating, so it really warms up. Yeah. When <laughs> you want to go down in the snow? Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. There. Come on. Wee.
that you enjoyed our very cold adventure. Yeah, it's a bit chilly. <laughs> Not inside the cap, though. Holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was surprising. Like, comment, subscribe, and we hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next week for another one. Yeah, see you next time.